Well, it seems like we can't go one day without the Prime Minister embarrassing this country. Now, what's today? Today is the first day that Parliament has been open in months because of COVID-19. So, of course, Justin Trudeau needs a personal day. That's right. Day one back on the job after months off and Justin Trudeau needs a personal day. Oh, it's been so taxing and tiring being Justin Trudeau hiding in your cottage saying the same thing over and over and over again, giving nothing to the media, being caught in lie after lie, scandal after scandal, and having no consequences. It gets really, really exhausting. Please pity him. How how lazy and and spineless is this? And I, and I call it lazy because he's going to show up to work. So the whole reason he's taking a personal day isn't because he needs a day off, isn't because he's mentally taxed, right? In order to mentally be taxed, you'd have to think thoughts. No one is ever... Don't... Ever accuse me of accusing Justin Trudeau of thinking any thoughts. It's the Wee scandal, right? He would have to face some questions today about his involvement in the Wee scandal, which we've gone over, sending nearly a billion dollars through a political slush fund to his friends at the Wee charity who send it back to his family who send it to him. Blah, 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 blah. Corruption. He would just have to answer the questions. Now, I call this lazy because, of course, it's corrupt, and we all know that. Now, the real scandal here, the real scandal here is not that the prime minister is lazy. It's the fact that the media is going to let him off the hook. And it's so ridiculous because it's so hypocritical because I remember that this is the narrative on Stephen Harper. Stephen Harper doesn't answer any questions, and people did it down like, okay, of all the Canadian prime ministers, Stephen Harper's actually in, in the middle of showing up for question time. It was a false narrative. But I had this narrative repeated to me. Like, I would give tours, and sometimes in school groups, you know, unprompted kids would say things like, didn't Stephen Harper never answer any questions? Like, there's 15-year-old kids in Canada, because this narrative was so bombarded, that thought that Stephen Harper never answered a question from the media, right? And here we have Justin Trudeau skipping out on day one of question time. Now, I call this lazy, because the obvious reason he's skipping out is because he doesn't want to be questions and, and have to deal with that. But we know the media's going to cover them. He's paid them off. They're all ideologically corrupt anyway, right? What he could do is, listen, we all know, Justin Trudeau could get into the parliament and say, why do you give it to we? Well, they gave us money. And we wanted money, and I don't really care, because Canada is stupid Heil Hitler. He could say that, and the media would cover for him. It's the same thing as not showing up. Just get it over with. You could, he could literally get up there and say, Listen, the Nazis had a lot of good points. I think Genghis Khan was a feminist icon. Um, Hong Kong should not be free. We should, we should enslave Hong Kong more. And, you know, I think Hamas has a point. Throw the gays off the roofs. I mean, gays like uh, the skyline. I like roofs. What's to lose? He could say this, and, and within two days, no one would be talking about this. It, it would be, you know, you'd have Pierre Oliver say, this is bad, and Andrew Shear would be like, this is bad. Then the woke Twitter audio would be like, Andrew Shear says Justin Trudeau's support of Nazi Germany is bad. Well, Andrew Shear once ate a popsicle, and it was homophobic. Ah, and that would be all over Twitter. That's what on today on, today on Twitter, Andrew Shear's corruption is is trending is so stupid thanks o'toole for that nonsense Ugh. anyway that's my two cents here to i was going to do a jeffrey epstein video because they murdered all his uh, the judge's family but i'm going to wait and do a worse of the cbc video tomorrow on that just to see what the media's full reaction is to that corruption so right now justin trudeau is corrupt um thank you everyone uh, who, who who helped donate to the gofundme account for uh for my legal defense from Timo Tool, that is very appreciated. If you want to support the show or support the legal defense or support me, uh, you can click on one of the links below. Uh, it is massively appreciated. And until tomorrow, where we continue to take down the government because the government sucks, and I hate it. And also, just answer like answer questions. It goes away. This is so stupid. And it's not even the first time we did it. Remember when he came back after. A Costa Rica trip after a three week vacation and then he needed a personal day because he was so exhausted from from his vacationing. This is the Prime Minister of Canada. Oh, God help us. God help us.